I know it has been a while since I posted on this channel. I apologize. I just, I have no excuse. But I did want to say a quick welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers on this channel. I don't know if I haven't been paying very much attention to the numbers on here, but it's actually grown a lot since I last checked. So thank you and hello, um, and I hope you have fun here. <laughs> As you can tell by the title of this video, this is College Talk number 5. This is the 10 things I wish I knew before college tag? I don't know if this is a tag, but someone requested it. So I, a thank you to you because I never would have done this video otherwise. I will put your little username here and give you a little shout out, I guess. So thanks. Alright, I'll just get right into it, but actually no, that's a lot. I am going to say the same disclaimer as always. Uh, this is just my personal, per not preference, I don't know what I'm saying. What? This is just my opinion about college. These are my personal thoughts from my experiences. My college experience is not going to be like yours. Um, just take it all with a grain of salt because you never know. Uh, it's all it's all personal stuff. Okay. All right, number one, peer pressure is real. Now, some of you uh, probably, maybe even since middle school, have uh, felt peer pressure before. I never have. I was just like, peer pressure. I've got this. In high school uh, and in middle school, uh, I was... You know, a very, I guess, innocent girl is what I guess I could use that word for me. Um, I never partied, it just didn't appeal to me, it still doesn't. It wasn't my, my type of scene. I was never one of those who wanted to experiment in all these dangerous things. Just, no, it was never my style. And so, once I got to college, I didn't really think that anything would change. But the thing is, when you get to college, all those things that you can easily avoid in high school, like drugs and alcohol and other explicit things um, are pretty unavoidable once you get to college. Everybody everywhere is just doing everything. <laughs> and so um, it's just, it was a big reality check, I guess, for me to realize that these people are doing these things that I just never ever wanted to do. Drinking is huge in college. I've, I've done the Why I Don't Drink video uh, a while back. I have to say now that I do drink, but I am legal now and I don't drink very often at all and it's very little when I do. But that being said, before I was legal, um, so many people just tried to get me to drink all the time. It got to the point where I just like didn't want to go to my friend's place because it was constantly like, take a shot. I'm just like, no. Peer pressure is something that I had never experienced before, so it was weird. I just, just felt this annoyance with all always having to explain why I didn't want to do these things. I'm just like no, like what why? I just don't want to. Is why is that not a good enough explanation? It's, it got to the point where I was like, it would just be easier to drink than to keep explaining myself or to keep saying no. But just stay strong, people. Keep your values close to your heart. Okay. Number two, freshman 15 may be a myth, but the actual gaining of weight is not unlikely. Especially freshman year. I think once you get past freshman year, you just kind of get used to the whole college scene and you don't really want to like eat everything in the world. But freshman year is when you get all this freedom and this this time to like do whatever you want. There's no curfew. You can like be out at like five in the morning every day if that's your thing. Just be careful because if you don't, there's no like PE requirements at most colleges anyway. Um, so you can just lounge on your bed eating Oreos all night if you want, so just be careful. Number three, midterms and finals are no joke, uh, at least compared to high school. In high school it's like, oh my god, a final is so stressful. No, nah man, not even like college. College is intense. These tests are very no, okay, I can't say that about all of, the, all of them, but for the m most part, these tests are very, very important and, and a huge part of your grade. In fact, there are some classes where it's like 40% midterm, 60% final, and that is all that goes into your grade. There's no homework, there's no projects, there's no extra credit. It's just like what you know and how you perform on these two tests could define how well you do in college. It's very scary and just yourself. Number four, first impressions are key. This is also a very freshman year oriented thing for me. Um, at least at my school we have this thing called zero week. So it's the year, not the year, the week before um, fall quarter starts. 
So it's usually geared towards freshmen because the freshmen get here a little bit early. They get to move in and explore the campus and get to know each other and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a dance and all that where you get to like meet people from other colleges within our university and that kind of thing. Since this is like everyone's like moved out of their parents' houses and they're like all excited, uh, stuff goes down in zero week that you just can't take back. So uh, be careful what you do because those things that you get your reputations for are not going to go away because I specifically remember things about people that I wish I didn't know. Uh, so first impressions, <laughs> gotta love them. Number five, your major is your identity. It totally is in college. First question, hey, what's your name? What's your major is usually the second question. And it's very easy to judge people based on their major. Uh, if you're a science major, I guarantee people are going to be like, oh, you must be smart. Or in their mind, they might be like, oh, you must think you're smart. If you're a psych major like I am, it's usually like, a, oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it gets old very quickly. Don't worry. Psych majors are awesome. <laughs> Woo. Number six, your grades slash your GPA uh, very accurately illustrate the effort you put into school. I think this might be a, a no-brainer, but seriously, they definitely do. Uh, so just be very careful because as I mentioned, midterms and finals count for a lot, if not all of your grade. So um, just do the work because otherwise your grades will reflect it. Number seven, kind of going off that one, um, your natural intelligence is far, far less important than having good study habits and the, I guess, drive to succeed. And what I mean by that is how smart you are, how book smart you are, I mean, unless you're a genius, but that's kind of not likely, isn't enough anymore. In high school, it might have got you by very easily, but in college, you have to study. You have to put the work in because otherwise it's just not going to happen because at my school, we have 10 week quarters. That's a lot to learn a whole course worth of information in 10 weeks. Um, so it's just a lot of intensive time to put into studying and learning and putting this information in your brain. So just be careful because uh, it's very important that you actually do the work. I think I've already said this like five times. Number eight, high school does not matter anymore. If you're in high school, I realize because I felt the same way, high school is like everything. Like these are supposed to be like the best four years of your life. People say that about college too. I don't really agree with either of them. Anyway, it's just like such an important time. Like your friends are everything and you just love being like at the top of the pyramid if you're in high or if you're a senior. Um, but when you get to college, you'll realize, it took me a couple years, honestly. I, my first couple years of college, I was like, I miss high school, I miss dance. Dance is like something that I just like missed so, so, so much. I was like, I miss my friends, like I miss having that safe haven type of situation. Um, but when you get to college, you'll probably reach some, at some point, this realization that uh, high school, <laughs> zero importance anymore. I mean, really, you'll realize what friends you truly care about and which ones just kind of fade off into their own lives and that you really don't care about anymore. Um, how smart you were in high school does not matter. How popular or unpopular you were does not matter. Anything high school related, nobody in college cares, really. I mean, you could talk about some things, but who really cares? It, it's in the past and it just doesn't matter anymore. So. Just, that could be a good or a bad thing for some of you, just be aware that that's really true. Number nine, um, for those of you who have really nice cars, just be careful because your car will most likely get effed up in some way, uh, no matter what kind of car you drive. College parking is terrible. College students are very inconsiderate people um, as a whole, I'm not gonna lie. My car on the passenger side has so many like dings and nicks in it now because dumb people just like fling open their driver's door and hit the car next to them with no reservation. I mean, they just just go to town on other people's cars. Yeah, and it's it's awful. It's terrible. I never do that. I make sure that my car door never ever touches the car next to mine because I don't. Th that's mean. Why would you do that? I was in my car this one time in the car parked and the girl this girl pulled up into the spot next to me or no, no no she was getting back to her car and she like unlocked it and she flung open her like back passenger door and i was like sitting in my car and i was like are you are you serious right now like is, you just really she didn't see me sitting in my car so when she finally saw me glaring at her she would had this face just like oh i'm so i just oh like she just it was this asian girl who just looked like she just 
be considerate and be careful with your cars. If you have a really nice car, I don't recommend you bringing it to school, or at least not parking it um, in like the typical student parking lots and stuff, so be careful. Number 10, uh, all I have to say is the thirst is real. So, just my fellow females out there, be careful. That's all I have to say. Okay. Alright, thank you guys for watching the 10 things I wish I knew before college video. It was pretty fun putting these together um, and thinking about what I wish that I knew. Um, so that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I will be doing my um, uh, how to pick the right college video because you guys did want to see that one. And also the like admissions uh, application registering type process. Someone's recommended that several times so I will get around to that one as well. So thank you for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.